John Lorenzo Bernini was an architect and painter in the 17th century. He was one of the most remarkable sculptors of the Italian Baroque, an artistic and architectural style characterized by extravagance and emotional intensity. Bernini often combined his many talents in works of great drama and religious passion. In 1647, Bernini began the decoration of the Cornaro Chapel in the Church of Santa Maria della Vittoria in Rome. The chapel was named after its patron, Cardinal Federigo Cornaro, and honored the 16th century Spanish mystic, St. Teresa of Avila. Among the works Bernini created for the chapel was the sculpture, The Ecstasy of St. Teresa. Bernini chose as his subject one of Teresa's mystical experiences in which an angel plunged a golden spear into her body and, in her words, left me utterly consumed by the great love of God. The pain was so severe that it made me utter several moans. The sweetness caused by this intense pain is so extreme that one cannot possibly wish it to cease. In Bernini's sculpture, the angel stands over the saint, clutching his golden spear as Teresa swoons in ecstasy on a cloud. Behind them, golden rays gleam in the light from concealed windows. The sculpture is a fervent expression of Bernini's own Catholic religious beliefs. The saint is represented as a great example of divine love and the benefits of Christian salvation. Bernini's chapel is a superbly designed space where dramatic effects are achieved by means of sculpture set between pillars topped by a pediment. On either side of the chapel, statues of members of the Cornaro family sit in choir boxes witnessing the central event. In the pavement are depicted two skeletons rising in wonder and prayer. Above, a fresco painted by Guido Ubaldo Abatini portrays the dove of the Holy Spirit accompanied by angels. But center stage stands Bernini's sculpture, a work of art whose passionately ecstatic subject is echoed in its form. As the love of God rushes into St. Teresa, it finds vivid physical expression in the dramatic ruffles of her clothing, the arms flung to her sides, and the tensed curl of her toes.